Welcome to Omaha, CWS fans! A city growing larger than the skin tag on our aging, obese bodies. Now, in between baseball games, some people think that this city's kind of boring. But the truth is, Omaha has a lot more to offer than just a $128 million stadium we only use two weeks out of the year. We also spent $18 million on a footbridge that takes you to a patch of dirt and Council Bluffs. It's our own bridge to nowhere! We built two new stadiums and three new arenas, and we couldn't fill half the stadiums we already had. It's just like that one baseball movie. If you build it, they will come. Unless you build it in Ralston. Everywhere I go, people ask me the same question. Are there black people in Omaha, Nebraska? I mean, come on, it's 2016. Of course there's black people in Omaha, Nebraska. Not right now, because me and David are both here in Iowa. But when we get back, there's, there's definitely going to be at least two. Probably at least two. People think that all we eat is steak and corn. But I eat a vegan meal every night before I eat my steak and corn. People think we're too conservative for contraception. But I have eight kids, and I haven't had sex since high school. Thanks to the weed haze bellowing over from Colorado, we have some of the most beautiful sunsets. You may notice a larger than normal amount of construction around town, but that's because we're just trying to repair all the potholes on the road to Omaha. From our new license plates to our state capitol, Chimney Rock, and even our governor's head, we are phallic. We are Nebraska. How do I get in here? 